So I've had a couple of requests for the Pythagorean theorem, which is just a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And it's basically a triangle. So here you go. I hope that this information helps you with whatever test you are studying for. Welcome to Purely Persistent. I'm Michelle. So we're going to start here with a couple of basic equations, but then we're going to get to a pretty tricky one at the end. So make sure that you stick until the end. All right. So the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared only works if you have a couple of things. Now, first of all, it has to be an isosceles triangle or this right triangle. Usually, you know, it's a right triangle by the little angle that's right there. Not to be confused with acute angles, obtuse angles. I actually have a whole video on that you might consider checking out. Okay, so the A and B can be interchanged. It doesn't really matter which side they are as long as they are not the hypotenuse. So here I have my little angle here with my right angle and I want to make sure that it's both both sides of those represent the A and the B. So in this case we have we'll call this one A. So we have 3 squared and B which we'll call the 4. 4 squared equals C which C is the hypotenuse or it's the one that's right across from the right angle and well that one is X. So I called it x, but we could certainly call it c if you wanted to. So 3 squared is just 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16, equals x squared. Now, 9 plus 16 is 25, equals x squared. Now, hmm, how do we get it from being x squared to just x. Basically what we have to do is we have to take the square root. So we can take the square root, which I'll cancel that out, and the square root of 25. And I know that a number times itself that equals 25 is just going to be 5. So 5 equals x, which is the hypotenuse right there, the c in the equation. So in the Wizard of Oz, at the very end, the scarecrow gets a brain, right? And he says a few words. The sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Oh, joy! Gotcha. I got a brain! That's it! <laughs> that's the Pythagorean theorem. I mean, it's not exactly accurate the way he said it, but that's what he's going for, the Pythagorean theorem. So if you have this down, according to the Wizard of Oz, you've got a brain and you must be smart. Okay, here's another one. 5, 12. I'm keeping this one at C. So we have 5 squared plus 12 squared, right? Because those are the two that are right in line on the little square there, the right angle, equals C squared. So 5 times 5 is 25. 12 times 12 is 144 equals c squared. So now if we add 25 and 144, we get 169 equals c squared. Then we're going to take the square root of both of them, that cancels out. And quick, the square root of 169, it's okay, I had to use a calculator too, 13 equals C. Okay, for this next one here, we have a computer screen. Okay, so use your imagination. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna find out the diagonal of the computer screen because oftentimes that's used, right? So let's figure it out. So we've got our diagonal here. And we've got, these are right angles, right? But actually, we don't really need to pay attention to that side. We'll just pay attention to the one side here, okay? So, we know that computer screens are right angles because why wouldn't they be unless you have a wonky computer, right? Okay, so here we have a squared. So we have eight squared 
plus 15 squared equals c squared. So we'll throw our little c there. 8 times 8 we know is 64 plus 15 squared is 225 equals c squared. Now we just add them up together and what do we get? 289 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides, whoop, whoop, and what do we get? 17 equals c. Now, what I want to make sure that you do is make sure that the answer makes sense. Like, what if I would have gotten 35? Would 35 make sense? Would a computer screen that's only 15 inches across and 8 inches high could the hypotenuse really be 35? No. So really make sure that your answers just make sense. So are there any other math topics that you would like me to cover? If so, leave them in the comment box right down below. And as always, you are so important. If anyone hasn't told you today, I'm telling you right now, you are a very special person and I believe in you. Make sure that you believe in yourself and of course, be purely persistent toward whatever goals you have, whether it be toward a test and mastering the Pythagorean theorem or, or anything else. I believe in you and I wish you a beautiful day.